So this is the dark side developments uh, E888 Gen 3 1.8 TSI intercooler and as you can see it's huge. Let me see if I can service the car on my own now. Welcome back to another episode of Project Octavia and it's been a long time coming. Finally, my intercooler from Darkside Developments has uh, arrived and I'm going to unbox it right now. So this is the dark side developments uh, E888 Gen 3 1.8 TSI intercooler and as you can see it's huge. Uh, the thickness of the intercooler is much larger than the one that I have currently in my car and that's a VRS245 intercooler and first of all I love the finish completely blacked out just like the car. It looks super nice and I think so this is the front side and through the grill you can probably see the dark side uh, you know logo. Uh, through the grill so really cool looking intercooler blacked out murdered out you have the hoses the clamps and all of those things but the thing I was most excited about was the t-shirt thank you so much for giving us the t-shirt and these stickers so one will be going on to my laptop and one will be going on to the car and this I will put it on the scooter so we'll be installing this tomorrow so the next shot will be uh, us removing the bumper I'm guessing So the boys at Mechanics have removed all of the front end of the Octavia, the bumper, the headlights, the grill and all of that stuff and now they're removing the AC gas as well because we will have to remove the condenser uh, in order to access the older intercooler and you know replace it with the dark side one. So that's what we're doing uh, right now. After that we'll start removing all of the other bits and pieces one by one. So we have managed to remove the old intercooler and this is also technically not a stock intercooler. This intercooler has been swapped in from a VRS245 uh, and I bought the car like this. So this is my stock intercooler and this is the dark side developments E888 Gen 3 intercooler for the 1.8 TSI and yeah I think so the video does more than enough justice to show you the sheer size of this new intercooler. I mean, it is at least double the width of the older one. And moreover, uh, as you can see, like the sides over here are completely finished in metal. Everything is metal on this thing, not a single plastic part on it. Uh, whereas this intercooler, the stock one from a VRS245, these sides over here are made out of plastic. And yeah, I mean, it's a massive intercooler and it's pretty heavy. But uh, weight is not something that I'm concerned about because you know, I'm not going for any sort of record-breaking car or anything like that. This will help us uh, keep the IATs uh, low, I mean the temperature of the IATs low and uh, that in turn helps make more power, keep the fuel efficiency good and moreover my car was facing a lot of heat soak problems. So this thing is definitely going to solve all of those problems. So let's start and install this thing in the car now. The next day. So as you can see, the intercooler is more or less now attached to the car. Uh, we had to remove the tie member, put everything together and uh, reinstall all of that. So we've also gotten boost pipes with the car, it's not boost pipes, inlet outlet pipes uh, for the intercooler. And uh, for that we will have to put the car onto a lift, uh, raise it, remove the bash plate below and then put the boost pipes on. 
Uh, also, as you can see, the intake is not on the car at the moment. And what I'm going to try to do in this video is attempt to service the car on my own, change the oil, change the coolant and clean the filter on my own. So let's see how that goes. This is the old inlet outlet pipe and this is the brand new one. Old one is made out of rubber. This is made out of silicon. We're going to be switching out these old uh, hoses for these brand new silicon. So this is the first drive after installing the dark side development EA triple eight Gen three intercooler, and I have to say, it has made the car a little bit more consistent. I think so. The refinement has also gone up a little bit, and it just feels a little smoother to drive. Little. more refined and i'm will very excited because this is like 2 months in the making this part has taken way too long to come over here because it got stuck in customs and you know clearance all of that then we didn't we weren't in pune for the longest time we had gone to delhi so this has taken quite a lot of time to get installed and yep it's finally done and i think this is a very very important mod the most important mod yet that i've done and i feel that the power has become a little more consistent like i think so i did 2 3 pulls right now and by that time the car would have gotten heat soaked but it's still not heat soaked yet and i think so that is the magic of the intercooler because it's cooling the car down a little better you know it's not getting heat soaked as easily yep i think so these small little incremental changes really make a big difference in your day to day usage yep i think so the car has gotten a hell lot of a more you know consistent power i mean it's just so much more alive it just wants to go now whereas in the past you know after one or two pulls the car just felt dead like it gave no boost it gave no power and it used to drink fuel like nobody's business i think so this intercooler upgrade has changed the whole experience of that it's definitely more consistent when it comes to power now fuel i can't really judge that but i am pretty sure that that will also improve a little bit because once your car get gets heat soaked uh, what the ecu does basically is that it just dumps fuel into your block because if you didn't know petrol is also like a cooling agent so dumping fuel well it helps control the heat of the engine so i think so that is going to get reduced as well so yeah let's see i mean i'll have to drive a little more but now i think so we have to go and get the car serviced because servicing is due i mean every time i'm starting the car that uh, message is coming so let me see if i can service the car on my own now So this is my first attempt at servicing my own car. Right now we've just opened the drain plug for the oil, draining out all of the oil and after that we'll change the cabin filter, AC filter, if possible we'll try to clean the air filter, uh change the oil and add the coolant as well. So once this is drained, I think we'll get the car down and drain the other stuff as well.
now everyone's gone back to doing their own work after they made a lot of fun of my servicing skills now what we're doing is we're just cleaning out the coolant tank the coolant pipes and all of that and uh, this is the drain plug so all of the coolant and stuff comes out from here uh, after we completely flush out the system we'll put in fresh new coolant uh, then we'll go inside change the cabin filter and then put this thing for a wash अभी तक तो फटा नहीं है कुछ भाई एंड जस्ट लाइक दैट वी हैव इंस्टॉल्ड द डार्क साइड डेवलपमेंट ई ए ट्रिपल एट जेन थ्री इंटू कूलर वीव ऑल्सो डन अ सर्विस टू द कार केबिन फिल्टर एयर फिल्टर न्यू ऑयल न्यू कूलेंट ड्रेंड ऑल ऑफ द ओल्ड स्टफ आउट सो ऑल ऑफ दैट हैज बिन डन एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई थिंक सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ एटलीस्ट द इंजिन दिस इज कंप्लीट the build is complete in terms of at least the power mods because i am not going to be going any further than this i do have a little bit of an idea uh, if you've been following the channel and if you've seen a particular video about this particular polo i've kind of teased that idea in that video if you haven't it's the manual swap polo gti video and after that i'm really considering of swapping out the dq hey 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 Hey. Do it by that. So in that video I've kind of dabbled on the idea of probably putting a manual transmission in this car. Uh so let's see what the future holds. Uh I think so the series is well more or less done at least season 1. Probably there's another episode coming like the final final thing because we'll be detailing the car and probably will be putting it in the ambi valley races so if that's happening do stay tuned there's another episode final episode for season 1 coming very very soon and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one